what's up this is a tutorial on how to make very basic websites using HTML and possibly some CSS for anyone who has no idea what that is you're probably wondering what the heck I mean and I'll start off by showing you or actually I'll tell you first um, HTML stands for hypertext markup language and that's like basically the coding of the web like when you make computers you know you have to code it and everything that's like what you're doing on the website but not as complex so there's a lot of parts to website design html css um, javascript php um, there's things like databases like asp databases mysql a lot of stuff like that but that's way out of your league right now if you're just learning this for the first time but um, i'm going to start off by showing you how to do some pretty simple stuff uh, to start off your first page you have to use the greater than less than sign and type in in between them HTML and that base that's an opening tag that's what it's called an opening tag is in layman's term basically what holds all the coding or what holds everything like a big case for it so you could consider that if you have a hard time understanding examples. And then the header tag, oh, excuse me, the header tag, oh, I guess I have caps lock on, okay. The header tag is basically what holds, like, the styles, or, uh, that's the, actually, I shouldn't say that yet, because that's going to confuse you. Just forget what I just said. Um, but it holds the title for the page. Like, if you look at the top of the page and it says, like, um, like, let me pull my Safari page down. See right here? how it says um, fail to open page the title is basically um, the title is going to be named whatever that's named so that's basically that um, so if I wanted that to say let's see um, my first website then title and the one I'm gonna talk about really quick um, because I know you probably want to get this title up. There's certain tags that, like, well, all the tags that are up here right now on the screen have to be closed tags. Like, they have to be closed. And with HTML, sometimes people are lazy and they don't close tags. And it still works. But eventually, when everyone moves on to XHTML, which that stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language, everything has to be, um, it has to be correct lowercase and nested correctly and what I mean by nested correctly is if you go like this and you go B that's a bold tag um, and P for no, yeah P and I for italic and you type some random crap text in you can't when H an X HTML eventually in the future when all the browsers are converted to that you're gonna have to code it that way you can't go like this you have to go, you have to close what was last first, basically, if that makes sense. Like, you have to do it in order. So, since the B was first, but then the talent came after that, whatever's like still open once you get, like, or whatever was open last, basically, when you get to the main text, has to be closed after you're done with the main text. And then, what was, whatever was before, what was open first, or last before the main text. If that makes sense, I know it's really confusing. But you basically like, if I did B I, I'd have to do I B. If I did I B, I'd have to do B I. But I, if I do B I, you shouldn't do B I again over here. You should do I B, because that's just that's called nesting. And um, I'll remove this. And don't worry about all that stuff right now. Just try doing that, because when all the browsers are X H T M L in the future, it'll be a lot easier to code it like that. If you're planning on being like a webmaster like I am. Um, excuse me, kind of a little cold. Uh, so that's the first, or that's the title. Then there's body. Okay, now body is what holds everything. Like it holds the pictures, it holds the text, everything. Um, and you're probably wondering how how so when this holds text right here. This is for like not like everything in here. Like if I move this. Everything inside of here is the body, and this stuff up here is the head. Or I mean, the top where I showed you the title earlier—that's the head. 
Um, okay, so the body, like I said, that like tags have to be closed, so I close the header tag or the head tag. I don't want you typing header. Um, okay, now body. Um, you type in here anything you want. Really, H1 stands for header one, and that's the so biggest size of header you can get. It goes then it goes H2, which is smaller. H3, which is smaller than that. H4, which is smaller than that even. And H5, which I believe is the smallest. I don't think you can go any smaller than that. Maybe you can. I don't know. Um, and then that this would be a header, so we could just type in our website. Ooh, okay, there. Now, if we save this, actually, I'm going to show you how to save this first. Um, but like I said, we have to close the body tag, and we have to close the HTML tag because that holds everything. So close it. I mean, if you didn't, it would still probably work. But like I said, XHTML, you just want to be more prepared. So file, save as, choose a folder. I made a custom folder for this video tutorial. Um, I called it HTML how to. You can really call yours whatever you want. And when you're saving this, you have to be careful. Because if you save it as the wrong thing, you're going to save it as a text document. And it's just gonna open it up, and it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like Notepad, but I don't think it's editable, and there might be, in it, or it, I think it is, but all it will show is this writing right here, the coding. So you're gonna have to name it. Let's say um website. Dot, HTML. You have to make sure you type it as HTML, and where it says tech document, text documents, then, um, the dot txt extension. You have to change it to all files. And make sure there's .html or .htm. It doesn't really matter. And um, excuse this stuff up here. Uh, then save and open up that folder. And you can just drag it. The the let me just do this one. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. And drag this little thing go into any browser open up the browser and you can see here it says our website that's the header right there so um that the saving might be one of the hardest parts because it's not hard just everyone forgets and messes up there so make sure that's one of the most common mistakes and you don't realize that um then the p tag is well the paragraph tag it's kind of self-explanatory but um the p tag is the paragraph tag and that holds like regular text like hello Young Johnny, let's just say that. Actually, no, that makes me sound like someone weird. Um, hello, dude. What's up, world? I don't know. Don't ask me why. And then close it. Save. Control S or File Save. F5 to refresh or hit the refresh button, and then it's just that right there. So that's that. And then now I'm gonna show you um how to upload images. I don't actually have any images that I can show you right now, but it'll work fine when you have one. Go to image, um, uh, tags have attributes sometimes, like they have, um, like, uh, for example, when in the future, or no, I won't go that far ahead, but tags have things called attributes, so if you're doing, like, the paragraph tag, another way you can make this in the center of the screen over here, as well as the, uh, header tag, there's an the paragraph and the uh, h1 or header tags and many other tags have the attribute align and you can do like left right or center if you want or I don't know if you could do pixels but I'll get into that later actually no that would be patty never mind um, so you can align that in the center and if I save it you you keep the paragraph ending tag the same and if I save this it shows in the middle and you're probably wondering what this little box here is I'll show you but let me do the same really quick to the header tag. Align equals center. And say control S or file save. Refresh. And there, they're centered. And um, now, that it's, it's that simple. There's another way you can do it if you're too lazy to actually like type in align equals center if that's too much text for you. And let me just delete this really quick then you can do there's a tag like the bold and italic tag except it's